Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a university project that I did a few months ago with my friend at university. Uh, it is a wireless electric guitar transceiver. Um, in theory it can be used for any musical instrument but it was designed to work with an electric guitar. It uh, uses a uh, ESP32 Nano Arduino for the microcontroller. It has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack here, a 6.35 millimeter adapter, and a LT1167 instrumentation amplifier, and a digital radio transceiver here. It's the uh, Got the name of that one um, and the um, nine volt to five volt or three point three volt power board. Um, these are very common. Really, all these parts are very common. And um, yeah, so the audio comes in here. It comes in about so we we accept a range here of about naught to one point two five volts. And going in here, the guitar that I have is producing about up to about one volt, right? So this amplifier, well, it's it's AC coming in here, um, and so this amplifier offsets the the voltage by about half a volt and amplifies it a little bit. And then we have here we have a diode to prevent any negative voltage getting through to the ADC over here. The ADC on the Arduino is, this, this Arduino is quite noisy. Um, it's even noisier when you have this radio attached to it. And well, in order to reduce the noise, we did four times oversampling. The sample rate is 32,000. So 32 kilohertz, and we're getting 12 bits of this ADC. And the oversampling then is, you know, doing 128,000 samples and, it, and taking the average of four samples per, per sample. So 32,000, four times oversampling, and then sending it to the radio as fast as we can. This is like a, running at 2.54 gigahertz roughly and that then is picked up by the other side which is plugged into an amplifier like this audio jack this is the arduino r1 giga and It has a 12-bit DAC output, and again, we're using the same radio. This is a slightly different form factor. It doesn't have a, uh, an extended antenna. And there's a wee button here, and this button just controls the digital filter. So due to the noise coming in here, which is, you know, it's... It's uniformly distributed noise across the entire 12 bits of signal um, and across all the frequencies. So what we did is I made a IIR filter. It's a infinite impulse filter to uh, and clip off everything above a, qu it's a quadratic, I can't remember, a quadratic um, cascading filter, um, Butterworth filter, and we cut off everything over, the cutoff point is one kilohertz, which is obviously quite low, but there's so much noise, it's the only way to get rid of it, really. There's still a bit of noise left, but it was sounding pretty decent, and the quality was actually pretty good, like you couldn't really tell much difference between 
playing the guitar wired up versus playing it over this wireless device. Of course, that's I wasn't doing any distortion. Distortion just there's no got no chance with distortion with the amount of noise coming through as you crank the um, the amplitude. It just the noise just just gets louder and louder. Um, you can still play the guitar, but the noise just makes it quite uncomfortable. Um, here's the guitar, and then you basically you just plug in there like that, and um, it didn't fall off. It's perfectly fine. It didn't actually sit like that. So that's ridiculous. Um, I have this box here, which I modified a box I got from Amazon. You know, really advanced stuff, right? So, just open that, and it would just, I'll just put it in. Take that off there. Take that off. There and it goes like that. So yeah, this there's two there's two powers. There's a nine volt battery plugged in here to give the negative voltage to run the offset there and then the nine volts to run everything else. So this goes in. This goes in here. It's very, very... And this side, over here. And then we just plug those into the batteries on top. I, mean, I, could, I could have fit the batteries in here, but I just couldn't be bothered with the faff, so I just put them on top. And then this goes in here. Yeah. yeah, so it goes like that. You plug in, fold that over. It does stay on, like it doesn't fall off. It's not that heavy really, even with the batteries. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate playing it because it doesn't really sound as much on this mobile phone. It just sounds like a... Honestly, it doesn't sound much different to just... Just drumming it. It doesn't sound much different to that, unless I just crank up the distortion and it just sounds really noisy. Um, but with the settings, I was like acoustic guitar or lead, sort of lead guitar set turned not turned up too much. It sounds fine. Um, it just it plays. Um, a couple of things I would want to do differently maybe is I was thinking of having um, digital a digital uh, potentiometer in here uh, to automatically change the gain on the, the amplifier because I plugged in a microphone for instance and well the voltage on that was 30 millivolts and so it just it was nowhere near big enough to get the to fill out the range that we were accepting here so if I had a digital potentiometer somewhere possibly could have squeezed it in here somewhere um, then we could have from based on this adjusted the the, the uh, amplification on the potentiometer to control the the gain here um, or con control the voltage to change the gain here um, but didn't have time to do that so that's that this is my first soldering project so first proper soldering project so there you go that's that's the result of that I don't think it's terrible. Um, there's nothing hanging off, you know. This is actually a this form factor doesn't really fit. It's kind of squeezed on there. This is a PCB that I cut the side off. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, <clears throat> if you have any suggestions on how to improve it and how to deal with the noise. I didn't put a capacitor across the 
EDC, but honestly, whenever I experimented with that, it didn't make much of a difference. It did make a difference, but not a significant difference. And I, in the end, I didn't bother soldering one on. Um, it's also supposed to be, I think, a capacitor across the, the, the power on this as well. But again, didn't make a huge difference. Um, when I was testing it on a breadboard. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm also going to put a link to the source code for this in the description. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye.